Hello Gemini, welcome to another love reading. Welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you're a subscriber. Thank you so much for subscribing. Today's video is a love reading for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All about how your person is thinking or feeling about you, uh, what they plan to do with that, and what's the potential outcome for both of you. This is for those of you who are already in some sort of a connection or have someone in mind. So I'm just going to jump right in using my Animal Spirit Oracle deck to figure out how this person is thinking or feeling about you, Gemini. Spirits, angels, guys, what messages do you have regarding the person they are in a connection with Spirit? What are they thinking or feeling about Gemini at this time? What are they thinking or feeling about you at this time for Gemini, please? Lion, wow, okay. Very a uh, wise master, wa um, strong. But also the lion is very kind of aloof. So not a lot of people get to know the lion. What else can you tell me about how this person is thinking or feeling when it comes to Gemini? Either this person is thinking that you're a very strong, um independent fearless um or this is how they are attempting to uh like they, they're becoming or they're um they are this energy or trying to incorporate this energy so that they can come towards you almost like i have to be a lion to approach gemini what are they thinking or feeling about gemini octopus oh okay interesting the octopus is um all about entanglements typically unhealthy entanglements almost like a um like an obsessive energy here with the octopus what I'm kind of getting here, it's almost like like you have a hold on this person, Gemini. Like your tentacles have captured this person. Um, whether this person feels like that's good or bad. <laughs> I feel like this is something where this person's like really wrapped up in you or in this connection or just really feeling tied to this connection in some way. And with the lion, I'm getting like you're not like everyone else you're like you're not like the rest gemini and it almost like you're hard to read like this person can't really figure you out so let's get some information on this and then later we'll look at what what are their um next actions going to be but first let's see tell me more about how this person is thinking or feeling towards gemini now this will not resonate with every Gemini watching as this is a general love reading. So take what resonates and leave the rest. If this is not your story, don't try to make it fit. Just watch my other Gemini videos. I just put up a bonus video last week as well. Tell me more about how this person is thinking or feeling about Gemini at this time, Spirit. What's this person thinking or feeling? Two of Swords reversed. So almost like um, like a choice needs to be made here. Knight of Cups reversed. Interesting. I feel like this person. Ooh, okay. Let me get one more before I say what I'm saying. Tell me more. Thank you. Ten of Swords. So I feel like there, this is someone that is um, going through like the end of a cycle or they caused a separation. Like it was their 
either they weren't honest about how they felt or they told you what you wanted to hear regardless of what it was you weren't you could have even left this person Gemini and it's almost like it's almost like this person like they can't get you out of their head. That's what I'm picking up here. Page of Wands, Knight of Swords, Reverse. Be careful because this person could be coming to you to, to communicate, but I feel like, I don't know. It's almost like more of the same with the Knight of Swords, Reverse. Knight of Cups, Reverse, they tend to just um, either, either they're um, a little too emotionally like uh invested or you know heartbroken or they they're a bit manipulative with emotions i'm going to clarify all of these to see but this is what i'm seeing so far um it could be also that this person caused a separation by not being completely upfront or playing with your emotions playing with your head maybe this was some somewhat of an unhealthy relationship and you cut them off Let's see, let's clarify. Spirit angels, guys, let me clarify these messages for Gemini, please. Gemini, please. Let me clarify. Tell me about the Two of Swords reverse. Knight of Pentacles. So this is someone that wants to bring you some sort of an offer. Um, I feel like they've been going back and forth about whether to bring you this offer though. With the Two of Swords Reverse or perhaps it was a hard decision for them to make and they finally made it. Tell me about the Two of Swords Reverse. They could have chosen you out of two people or... Um, there was a back and forth, you know, internally. Can I get one more please for this two of swords reverse? Five of pentacles reverse. This is about getting you back or about like recovering something, reconciling. I have the king of swords at the bottom. So this person is very serious about bring you this offer or communicating what they want with you here can i get one more for gemini why is it's two of swords reverse here high priestess reverse nine of pentacles reverse so I feel like this is com like a secret coming to the light, something or someone finally opening up. And for some reason with this Nine of Pentacles reverse, let me see what's at the bottom. The Sun reverse, something here was hidden. Yeah, and it caused someone, it's almost like regretting that. They're regretting the fact that they try to avoid a tower, that they let their fear get in the way of talking to you. It could also be that this person is having some sort of realization or is going to talk to you about something that they're attached to um, and this could be you that they're attached to or it could be someone else or or a situation but this is coming to the light i feel like this is something that maybe you're not expecting with the high priestess reverse and the sun reverse like this is something that this person is doing in the dark tell me about the knight of cups reverse Why is the Knight of Cups reverse? Three of Swords. Yeah, see, this this caused a lot of pain. Um, there was a lot of um, disappointment here. The way that this person handled this situation. I'm starting to see this Knight of Cups reverse as like... Like, I don't feel like the emotional... Well, we'll see. Tell me more about the Knight of Cups reverse, please. Seven of Wands reverse. This person no longer wants to fight or resist something. 
Ten of Wands reverse, Nine of Swords. A lot of fear and anxiety here. I feel like someone has been burdened by how much they've been thinking about this. It's like they're overwhelmed. Like that obsessive energy I was talking about earlier, like they cannot let this go or stop thinking about this. I feel like this has become a burden. Someone's fear, someone's anxiety. Um, maybe in their mind, they've already lost you. They've had a change of heart about something that was not finished. Yeah, there's there was un, there's unfinished business here, Gemini. And someone's having like a change of heart or renewed interest here. And I, I'm getting like um, the message that it's almost like this person doesn't understand why they're still feeling this way when something has already ended between you. I got the moon reversed at the bottom. This is definitely something coming to the surface here. Like some sort of revelation or someone revealing how they feel. Tell me about this Ten of Swords. I feel like this Ten of Swords is very important. Tell me about this Ten of Swords, please, for Gemini. Queen of Cups reverse. Yes, this is someone that's still like heartbroken and emotionally dependent on something or emotionally attached to something, to an ending. This person could have also broken your heart, Gemini, and they know it. Tell me about the Ten of Swords. You could have felt betrayed. This could have been a difficult ending for you. Ace of Swords, Empress reversed. I feel like this person definitely wants to talk. Like they def they want to clear the air here with the Ace of Swords and kind of like tell you almost like they, they regret leaving someone here or that they regret having someone in the way with the Empress Reverse. They want to talk about something that didn't grow, didn't manifest. This Empress Reverse could even be a third party. It could be um, like a family member, a friend, an ex-partner, a current partner, a co-worker. I feel like this is something that they want to talk about. If it's not a third party situation or, or if it's not another person, it's the fact that something wasn't able to grow or manifest. Maybe this person made the wrong investment when it came to this connection with you or like like mistakes because the Emperor's Reverse can be somebody that they're, they're, it's not the right investment so that's why it doesn't grow or it's not the right, um, they don't have all of the resources to make something grow. Regardless, I feel like this communication is about whatever has already ended or whatever separated you. So let's see, what are they gonna do about this? I'm using my Seller Energy Oracle deck. Uh, this is a deck that I sell in my shop. It's a digital deck. It's on sale now. I link down below in the description box. And I am working on making this into a physical deck. Won't be ready for a while, but let's see. What is this person going to do about this spirit? Wedding bells, marriage, wedding, commitment. You're ready to commit to each other. Can I get one more? What do we need to know about this? What are their next actions going to be? Or what do we need to know? Mirrored souls, soulmate, faded love. You both mirror each other. So I feel like this person, they see you as someone they could commit to here is what I'm seeing. What's this? Sweet dreams. Yeah. This person's thinking about you a lot. Bottom of the deck, budding romance, new love, romance, courtship, romance is in the air. This is like strong feelings here. This person thinks you're their soulmate. For a small number of you, I think this person is married or already in a, in a commitment because I have this Empress here. So 
so let's see. What do we need to know? Or what are they gonna do with this? With how they feel? Are they gonna do anything about how they're feeling? What do we need to know for Gemini? What do we need to know for Gemini? Regarding this connection spirit. Queen of Pentacles reverse. What do we need to know? To, yeah, I think this person has has to choose someone else over you, which I think this was your last reading as well, Gemini. Or they have to make a different choice this time. One more, please. What do we need to know for Gemini? The Sun Reverse. Again, something here is like not clear, not being said, not being communicated. I feel like someone could be wearing a mask here. And the thing too that I'm getting is like, I have the Six of Pentacles reversed at the bottom. So it could be that this person is wondering if you feel the same way or vice versa. You're wondering if this person feels the same way about you. Mirrored souls, yes, they do. You both are mirroring each other, whether you know it or not. Tell me more about this spirit. I feel like what has not been said has like muddied the waters or caused something to like, it's like the, the wires are crossed. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles reverse. Knight of Wands. Yeah, this person, I feel like they can't really give you something right now that's solid or stable with the Queen of Pentacles reverse, but there's a lot of motivation, attraction, chemistry intention tell me about the queen of pentacles reverse why is the queen of pentacles reverse queen of wands see there's like i feel like there's one it's one over the other or something like that but this person um excuse me they could be a fire sign i have lying here as well um, but i feel like this is just someone that really wants something that's really what this is these are two energies that go after what they want are not shy about what they, you know, what they feel or what they want to do. They, they take action. These aren't really like thinkers. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles reverse. One more, please. Nine of Cups reverse. Six of Cups at the bottom. Very interesting something to do with the past here i feel like someone here you know with the nine of cups reverse like they're not happy they're not content there's something missing for them and they want to go after what's missing and i feel like that is in the past tell me about the two of pentacles reverse nine of wands whatever choice you know they have to make here i feel like the, whatever situation they're in right now it's it's a situation they've been in for a long time um and i feel like they they've been through it wherever they are but for some reason they're still there tell me about the two of pentacles reverse strength leo energy some of you could be dealing with a leo i have a lot of fire here we got a lion in this card well this is a strange lion but we have two lions here i feel like this person has been you know trying to be strong but i don't think that it's been easy for them tell me about the two of pentacles reverse yeah, again, they want to recover something. Five of Pentacles reverse. And the devil reverse at the bottom. Capricorn energy. This is about breaking free of something. 
Um, this person could be entangled in something right now that they are regretting or having difficulty in. Um, I'm also getting, you know, if, if it's not like they're wrapped up in you, it could be that they're wrapped somewhere that they shouldn't be. Um, regardless, they're trying to break free of that. Yeah, they're trying to overcome their fear. Nine of Swords Reverse and Three of Swords Reverse. This is some sort of interference here that your person is wrapped up in. It's like they need to they need to get out of this so that they can recover something. And it could be that they're having a lot of difficulty right now, possibly financial. And they're trying to be strong. I think you know what's um, what I'm picturing is someone that's having a hard time, and you know they always think about one thing, and it's you. Almost like um, like you are their ray of sunshine or something like that. Like you uplift uplift them. Tell me about the sun reverse. Knight of coin reverse. I feel like what they want to do, the Knight of Pentacles is upright on this side. What they're thinking about doing, I feel like there's no action about it because it's hidden. Tell me about the Sun Reverse. The Empress Reverse. And it could be hidden because of someone else. The Empress came out reverse in two different decks. King of Swords Reverse. Yeah, there's something here that your person has not told you. And that's just causing a bunch of delays. There could even be physical connection between you, but they're not able to give you anything solid. And I don't know if they've been honest about why, or if they are not being honest to themselves about why. <laughs> but I feel like there's something here that you don't really know with the King of Swords Reverse or something that this person is not telling you. It could be that this person is dealing with someone very difficult on their end, but, you know, I feel like they've been knowing that. Like, they've been knowing about whatever is difficult for a while now. I don't think this is something new that they're dealing with. So what's the potential outcome? Let's see. Should I clear the board or just stack these here? Potential outcome in the near future for Gemini. Ten of Swords Reverse. I feel like someone wants to move on from this ending. Maybe ask for forgiveness. Um, someone wants to move on, move forward here from whatever already happened. What else for Gemini and this person? Queen of Swords. I'm telling you, there's communication happening. Or someone's going to talk to you here. Like... We keep getting cards about communication. Where's the Ace of Swords? Yeah, the Ace of Swords is like the let's talk card. I feel like it's about what already took took place here. What else for Gemini? Nine of Wands. You know, this person, I feel like they need to... Um, the Nine of Wands, very defensive energy, very re like re um, resistant to letting people in. They don't trust easily. They've been through a lot. They've been hurt before. This could be you, Gemini, too. You could have been so hurt by this person that now if they do talk to you, it's like you have a wall up instantly. Same with the Queen of Swords. You could be in protection mode with this person, not really trusting them, not really trusting their intention. I feel like this person knows that when it comes to this connection exactly, they're going to have to do some real work here. Some real effort needs to be put in here to make this work again. So, you know, communication for sure. Are Do they feel the same way about you? Yes. But there's this octopus here that I feel someone needs to to overcome or to do something about. And I feel like they're motivated. I feel like they've thought about it. But I feel like there's also something like that's hidden here that needs to come to the light. You know, I, I feel like there's something that you don't know that you need to know in order for this to move forward. 
Um, and I think that's it. Thank you so much for your likes, shares, and subscribes, and I'll see you all in another video. Take care.